The uterus here, lining in the middle, you can see it's a three stripe, which is exactly what we want it to be. So yeah. it goes from top to bottom, some nine millimeters. Oh I yeah. Was, I was reading Looks some like people a end up, um, mm -hmm. so right up their uterus like fills with liquid or something, right? Yeah, and that that can sometimes happen, but um, we I, this is ideal. That triple stripe, nine, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, lots of pressure here. Whoa, Hello. they're definitely bigger. Hello, chocolate chips. Wow. This is going great. All right, so bear with me because I have to count and measure all of these. So let's start here. I'm going to start calling you Mrs. Fields. <laughs> <laughs> Producing those chocolate chips. And those are the follicles, right? So these not are, necessarily... Right, necessarily the egg is them. microscopic. You can't see it. Um, which is why we go based on the size of the follicle. You know, typically at about... We know that at 14 it should... Con potentially contain an egg. Um, a mature egg we're looking more at like 18 to 20. Okay. So and we try to get right you, now? these are these are like eight, nine. eight, nine, tens. Nice. And is that for day five pretty, pretty standard? Good. Yep. Remember that little guy? Come on little guy. I measure him. You know? <laughs> Everyone's like, why do you bother measuring this? I'm like, she made it, I'm measuring it. <laughs> Plus, each of these contributes to your hormone levels, which, you know. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, that's a big one. Yeah. That's probably our biggest guy right there. 10 by 15. Look at you. Look at you. Well, we don't want any to be too big, right? Or potentially it could release it. What a bully. No, you're on the loop run. Oh, okay. So that's the whole point of that is to keep you from ovulating. And am I on loop run until I walk in your door on the day that the um, retrieval? Or? We will give you a stop date yeah, on your loop run. One. Okay. Um, it's all specifically timed for... Good job, hon. There's another 10 millimeter one. Would, and is this my right or my left? This is your right. Okay. And my prediction is that my right one has more. <laughs> that was my guess. Right, so I've got 10 plus... Let me just count them up. <laughs> There's another good size one back here. See, ovaries are three dimensional, so sometimes you'll have one behind another one like that. Carl, you are going to do fabulous. Look at all these. Uh, yeah. Look at all these nice follicles. Yeah. And this is exactly what I saw with the magnifying glass. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you wish you, you wish you were that good. <laughs> All right, one more, and then I'm just going to count because we're running out of room here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'd say you've got, you've got probably an extra three or four on the side that are just, I'm not going to measure because Whoa, yeah. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Nice. You're really nailing it, mother hen. <laughs> She's like, hey, your ovary must have fallen out. Just a little bit of free fluid. Did you, did, we didn't have any cysts before, did we? Mm -mm. So this ovary, I think, is... What is that? It's just fluid. Oh. Normal? Yeah. I just like to keep an eye on it. That's a better measurement. And what would be enough fluid that it would be like, oh, that's not good? I mean, if it was completely surrounding the over, I'd be like, what's going on over here? But no, it's fine. Now, finding this one is always the chore, right? When I find people's ovaries, I like to tell them where they hide because they're never in the same spot. Mm -mm. There it is. Is that a fact? 
when you were back. Yeah, but is it the same one that we just looked at over that here? Let me make sure because See, this, this has got to be your same one. I think based on where it feels like you are, it kind of feels like it is. When you were, because right now you have the wand going like mm -hmm. this way. That's, that's the and same. And I think you found when you went to this. Uterus. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be somewhere under this side. Hold yeah. On. Yeah, now you're on the opposite there side. There we go. Way. Nice. Look at that. Wow. It's pretty you, coded. You go, girl. Seriously. She's getting princess status today. I'm doing yeah. So, I'm doing such a great job of those shots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your contribution, honey. <laughs> yeah, and they're they're <laughs> they're all they're all proud. They're like, I gave her a shot. Yeah. He actually has been very very good with them. I will say, I couldn't. The first one, I actually thought that he had choked and hadn't. <laughs> Like I thought, because I felt the tiny little prick, but I thought maybe he had touched the skin and then couldn't bear to actually push it all the way in. But he she didn't even feel already it. Over feel it. Didn't feel really it. Good. And then, yeah, the rest of them pretty easy. Wow. Oh, you have bigger ones on this side. Yeah, I don't even know where to start here. I'm gonna run out of room, so what I'm gonna do is print this. Wow. We'll start over because um, I'm gonna run out of work. Look at this grin, ear to ear. At least it's working. Because <laughs> I wasn't having that bad of cramping, and so I was concerned that maybe it wasn't working very well. Oh no. But here's here's your big guy right here. Thirteen. Wow. Five. So that's a fourteen. Yep. That's your biggest one yet. You're rocking this girl. Yeah. Cool. Show me the follicles. As long wow. as my little guys don't blow it. You'll be fine. Yeah, don't <laughs> choke for your contribution. Seriously. <laughs> you, you have no choice. We should have made you cut out all caffeine. Now the guy's like, I really hope I don't screw it up. I'm like, all you gotta do is lay there. <laughs> You're good. I'm energizing my swimmers <laughs> with caffeine. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, and I'll talk to. Um, you got some monsters. Yeah, she's doing great. And when I talk to Kathar today, I'll see if there's anything else that yeah. he would recommend. If he thinks caffeine's a no no, I'll call you and, you know, cut off your Dunkin' Donuts. She'll ruin your life for a week. Oh. <laughs> Decaf. A massive headache. No, I, I seriously, I was, uh, in Shea Hospital for a week earlier this month, and they put me on no caffeine because I was on a halter monitor. Like, you can't, your pulse is gonna go crazy. I'm like, you don't understand, I can drink like five cups of coffee a day. Yeah. And I had the worst headache. I'm like, are you kidding me? They're like, no, we need to know what your heart rate's doing. I'm like, well, it's gonna be ticked off if you don't give me some caffeine. Yeah. It'll be broken. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just going to measure your biggest ones here, and then we're going to, um, we're going to call it a day. Do you guys have any type of award we could submit her for? Or? <laughs> um, yeah, really. <laughs> Drew's going to be so, like, just beside himself. I mean, this cycle, we, I don't know what happened this cycle. I think it was just that we had a lot of older patients. Um, everyone was like, Four eggs, six eggs, yeah. three eggs. I'm like, come on. That's one thing we, you know, that we kind of talk about, which we're obviously managing our expectations, but we'd have to assume since she's not the one with fertility issues. Um, that she's going to do the rock that, star yeah, stuff. Yeah, that we'd, you know, because I'm, I'm assuming that when it's the woman who has fertility issues, it's uh, obviously I'm, harder to get pregnant. I'm done. I can't measure anymore. 
Okay. Yeah. Cool.